The first step to drawing weird stuff is to get some coffee, because without caffeine, nothing really works. And I'm no stranger to drawing weird things, so trust me on that. The second step to drawing weird stuff is to take something completely normal, like a person's head, or an arm, or a hand, or some sort of animal, tree branches, roots, whatever, things that are completely normal and occur in nature. Um, but when you combine them, they don't really belong together. Like in this drawing, I'm taking a person's head, and there are some roots coming out of his eyes, you know, tree roots, like you would find in nature. Co again, completely normal stuff, but combining those two things, you know, a person's eyes and roots, you know, that's, that's weird. That's immediately off-putting for us humans, because it doesn't belong together. Or like just a hand, a person's hand and the head. Two normal things, a hand and the head. Nothing special there, but when it comes out of the head, where it shouldn't come out of, that's weird. So, this is the first step. Decide on something that's normal, but when you combine it, when you do things with it, it's not so normal anymore. But in order to be able to create stuff like this, you need a solid foundation, a technical, artistic foundation. That's why I encourage you to sketch a lot, to take animals and people and everything that occurs in nature, take photos of it and sketch it. I have filled so many sketchbooks with just normal things. In order to combine normal things so they become weird, you need to be first able to draw just those normal things, right? Like hands, heads or trees or whatever, animals. And I talk about sketching things um, and how important it is in some other videos. They're linked in the upper right corner. Or just, or just have a look at my channel. Also, if you have a look at my Instagram, which is linked down in the description, you can see that f with all the weirdness that I post and with all the strange things, a lot of the times I also just post, post normal things like, you know, some animals or some poses of people. And that's a, that's an important solid foundation that you need in order to create what's coming out of your mind, right? Again, I really encourage you to sketch out everything that you see in nature, everything that you come by that looks interesting, like animals in certain poses and people in certain poses. And when you have a solid foundation and you also have your shading down a little bit and you know what you're doing, it doesn't take long until you can fully unlock your potential. For me it was like maybe a year of sketching here and there until I was like confident enough to do some stuff out of the ordinary and be really creative and have it look good in a way. But of course n learning never stops, like the level that I am on right now is it's not perfect i'm not a i'm not a high-end level artist by no means i barely know what i'm doing um because i'm not academically trained but you don't need to just sketch and work on technique for like years and years until you can create something that's in your head something that you want to show something weird something that you just can't um draw from life because it doesn't exist like what i'm drawing here it doesn't take long until you can do this, and I encourage you to do it very early on, like, um, again, for me it was like basically a year of just doing some practice here and there, some sketching, you can do it earlier, of course, you know, it was just, a year was just a benchmark for me, until I felt comf uh, comfortable enough to create some things that um, are out of the ordinary, and having them look good, in a way, or right. Do it early on, because if you just focus on practice too much all the time and you don't tap into your own creativity, your own creative stuff, you're gonna burn out with all of this practice and making things look realistic and... Making things look realistic is not my my goal at all. I'm like, I draw with, with ink, you know, pen and inks. But yeah, so for me, making things look realistic is not the goal. The goal is just to make it look cool, make it look right, so it doesn't look like um, the proportions are off. Or, oh, that's not how somebody's head looks like. But you can always improve, always practice. I keep sketching, I keep doing both, you know. When you're at the level where you can comfortably do both, so practicing your sketching, practicing your proportions and uh, shading and everything, and at the same time have fun with the things that you create, like I'm having a ton of fun 
like those goblin hats that I did. Just have a look at my Instagram again. Ton of fun, ton of stuff that I'm just having a lot of fun with. So creating weird stuff is not that difficult at all. Just take something ordinary, something that you feel comfortable with drawing already. Like if you feel comfortable with drawing skulls already, um, if you're a complete beginner, then just take a skull and do something weird with it. Put a candle on top of it or um, have it like have one eyeball or or have a rat coming out of uh, one eye hole of the skull, whatever, for example, right? Like whatever you feel comfortable with drawing that you have practiced enough, have fun with it as to encourage yourself as to not get burned out and too focused on being too strict with your technique and too strict with making things look real and whatever. That's not the point of art or at least not my art making things look realistic. I just want to have fun, have it look cool, have it look mm, scary, have it look like yeah, the style that I have, you know, and after years, it took me five years now, five years of um, constantly drawing and experimenting with a lot of things and drawing a lot of weird stuff until I settled on a style that I know have developed that I feel comfortable with, a style that I feel like this is what I want to continue with and it just takes time. Be patient with yourself. Keep practicing, keep drawing and you will be able to create some really cool looking weird stuff in no time. I hope this video was entertaining, I hope you enjoyed it. Give me the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I hope I'll see you around. Check out my Instagram, okay? Bye bye.